Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are heading to Bangkok and this trip is going to be an exciting trip. It's going to be different. We are attending a business conference, me and Greg. And yeah, I'm taking a break of Pattaya. That's so, right. Uh, yeah. We'll do a little bit of shopping, a little bit of exploring and uh, we'll be staying in Bangkok for 10 nights, which is the longest we've stayed there in a while. It's a secret. All my friends already know there's no reason Alright, we made it to Bangkok. We are checking in now, and our hotel is really nice. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Your hands around my waist, just let the music play like a drug. I am hooked on you. Alright, guys, we made it to Bangkok. We are at Happy Tree Hotel. This is the name oh, of the. Happy Tree. Happy three. Three, the number three. Three, not three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's called Happy Three. And this is like a Japanese style. This is like, I think 2000, no, 2200 baht. Something like that for night. For yeah. night, so. Yeah, it's pretty good. So we have a very tiny balcony here. I don't know if we can, oh, we can get out. Wow, look at that. And. Ta da That's our view. We're going to stay here for one night only and then tomorrow we're gonna check in at Conrad. Because we're supposed to go tomorrow though, but we decided to come to Bangkok early. So we booked this hotel. It's so nice though. I really like the design. It's very new. Like it's very right. new. we are ready to shop. That was we're very, going next first. Very long drive, but I'm ready to get some fresh air and yeah. MBK Center is the closest, so Let's, right. let's go and done. shop for some gadgets. Sweeter than summer wine. Baby, just hold me tight. Alright, it's good to be back in the city again. That's right. <laughs> okay. We are heading to Sayam Discovery. Sayam Paragon, right? I wanna eat. Alright, let's go eat. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so pretty. So we are at Sayam Paragon right now and it's so busy, it's so crowded. This reminds me why we don't wanna live here in the first place. Very busy. <laughs> yeah, very busy. Eating in the in the food court is such a challenge. It's like there's no If you stop to look at a menu, you're gonna bump into somebody. Yeah. Find a place to eat. Okay, I gotta go someplace else. There's no place to sit. How about that? Ramen? Alright, we finally got a seat here. It's called Royal India. We ordered some I don't know what's the tandoori what's the name? chicken. Oh. Chicken tandoori. Okay. And we're waiting on our Tali. Yeah. I guess it's called like Tali. That. Where they give you a bunch of little portions. And we'll right. sample a lot of different things. Wow. Pretty good. Thank you. Alright, that's it. 
Alright guys, so me and Greg are just walking around and look at the traffic right there. Oh my gosh. Bangkok is so busy now. I mean, it's so different in Pattaya. When Pattaya is just like, it's so slow, there's still traffic. I mean, there's still traffic sometimes, especially the roads are under construction, but Bangkok is just so busy. Oh my gosh. This square is really busy. Wow. Yeah. Some sort of performance. Maybe. Let's let's check it out. Let's check. Let's check. See? See how many people? Oh my god, look. What's out there? So it was like a dancing competition. Looks like they're students and they're There's recording. Performance over there. I don't know if it's the same place. So many things going on in Bangkok. I mean, this is what I miss when I when we were in Bangkok than in Pattaya. I mean, in Pattaya they have some events as well, but this city is so alive and busy. Okay. Everywhere you go, there's a lot of clothing store. This is what I like about Bangkok. It's all about shopping. Clothes right there, also here, and also in that direction. <laughs> I don't know where to go first. Oh my gosh. Let's go get some foods and maybe shop for more clothes. <laughs> here's the welcome. Yeah, so this is one of my favorite spots here in Thailand. They have some Thai desserts there. Also have some hot dogs. Got some rice meals. Wow. Also that they have kebabs. Wow. Look at this. Chicken feet. So they have this kind of designs, flowers, I think they last for like 15 to 20 days. But it's not bad though. Look at that, it's so cute. I think I'll get this one. I am really confused. This country that is so hot, but they have a lot of like winter clothes. Yeah. Like, these are so thick. so interesting that they have all these bands close together. You got a band right over there, and then you turn around, there's a whole other band playing over there in that direction. Yeah. And you're listening to both at the same time. They're <laughs> crazy. They're both good though. Like, I'm confused which one to listen to. <laughs> Suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky 
when you took my hand said let's leave now don't wanna be shy We have some fruits vendors here. We can get some, babe. Yeah, for sure. Oh, they have durian as well. Oh, mangoes as well. Yeah, they have durian, 300 baht. We're not allowed to bring that to the hotel. I know. <laughs> they also have lansones here, 40 baht. Ooh. I'm nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so they have chicken here. They have chicken intestine. What is that? Liver dessert. So I got two dessert and Greg got this chicken steak. This is too chicken to try. I think it might be. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> I've had the chicken gizzards in the Philippines before. I don't like it, so I'll stick to the the other white meat. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very high tech here now. You can pay with a QR code here. And see what we didn't have a Thai bank yet, so we're just gonna pay cash. But who would have thought that a street vendor would accept electronic payments, right? It's like very 20th century, yeah. Very advanced. Yeah. We went to a small bar with neon lights. Talked about everything that was on our minds. Talking to you gave me butterflies. And, uh, Took the drive, it was just chilling there. Wow. <laughs> Every quarter, there's oh, like Thai street foods, you know? It's like you will never get hungry in Bangkok. Yeah, for sure. Anywhere you go in Bangkok, every street has tons of vendors everywhere. It's not just this area, it's like literally everywhere. It's and it's all very affordable as well. We paid 70 baht for few pieces of chicken and some other miscellaneous parts for you, Karen. <laughs> so, 70 baht is literally two U.S. dollars for the for that food. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal. So, you, when you get in Thailand, for those girls, don't bring heels with you. Lesson learned for me <laughs> as well. Don't ever butter to bring heels. Yeah, for sure. Because <laughs> you're going to walk a lot. Yeah, walking shoes are very important. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm wearing my shoes here because I know we're going to walk a lot. I mean, it's okay to take taxi, but it's traffic here. Gonna... Sometimes it's actually faster to walk. It'll say like 15 minutes walk or 30 minute drive, you know, your yeah, choice. Exactly. So, yeah, we would rather take a walk than wasting our time inside a taxi and get stuck in the traffic. And we're on the way home now. So we're gonna get some rest and enjoy our day tomorrow. So this is the chicken dessert. So good. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed our day one in Bangkok. Day one. Because we certainly enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, please give us like and please don't forget to subscribe. See you guys so you on can, our second day. So you can live through us on day two. <laughs> yes. Bye. Good morning guys. Having for breakfast now. Mmm, yum. <laughs> They do a breakfast set for 150 baht. So you get, you can pick toast or croissant, and we have this American breakfast for 
happy. happy Are you too. happy? I'm happy too. <laughs> All right, we made it to Conrad. We're checking in now, and this is their front desk here, their lobby. We've been here before, and this place is really nice. Hey guys, so we are in our room now. I'll do a quick room tour here. So here's our bed, and also we got this remote control for the blinds or for the curtain so you press like that and then it will automatically go up we break up and you slam the door i messed up on the bedroom floor what the hell do we do this for i push you up but you come back that attraction we can't find so this will be our room for the next nine nights here in Bangkok and look at that view oh my gosh we are on 26th floor oh, keep telling myself that I should let go but I hold on This is our bathroom so it's also the same we have bathtub here and you can turn down the blind using the remote very fancy very fancy yeah my favorite feature right there yep you can wash your butt <laughs> That's right. Yeah. 